a heatsink. Do you really need one? My Raspberry Pi 3 is a few days old. On Reddit there are a lot of topics about heat and CPU throttling. Some guy is even thinking about to what a cool his Raspberry Pi. This is a thermal image of the Pi 3, also from Reddit. The CPU gets seriously hot. Let's use this comment to get the temperature and the clock speed of the CPU. All the tests are made in the same TV cabinet with a room temperature of around 19 degrees. The first setup is the bottom of a case with no heatsink. And this is the result. The temperature rises and the CPU speed stays at 1200. But when we reach the 80 degrees, the CPU starts throttling a little bit. This is not too bad. The CPU fluctuates around 1100 and it's quite stable. And the temperature will stay around 80 degrees. Let's add the top cover. I guess it will produce more heat this time. There is no airflow inside the case. The CPU temp will rise quickly to 82 degrees and the CPU starts throttling to around 1000. So there was more temperature and more throttle with the top case. I bought some heat shrinks from DLXtreme and attached it on the CPU. It's easy to do and you are ready to go in seconds. The heat sinks helps to drain the temperature from the CPU and it will stay around 77 degrees with no CPU throttle. So the heat sink actually does something but it's not that much. But it's just enough. Let's add the top cover and see if the heat sink can also handle this test. The CPU temperature will rise quickly and starts throttling again. My last test will be with a normal computer fan blowing on the heatsink CPU. This should be the coolest test of all. 51 degrees stops with no CPU throttle, but I don't want a noisy fan, so I stick with the back cover with CPU heatsink setup. On 5, the open case plus heatsink plus CPU fan, the coolest, but not the best way because it's so noisy. On 4 the closed case plus no heatsink. This is the stock setup. It's almost the same as number 3 on the list. Number 3 the closed case plus heatsink. With attaching the top case you will kill the benefits of the heatsink. And on 2 the open case plus no heatsink. If you don't have a heatsink just don't attach the top case. And on the first place the open case plus heatsink, my favorite, it's half open with the heatsink attached. Stay tuned for my next Raspberry Pi video, bye bye.